It's just before noon on a Wednesday in May in Brimfield, Massachusetts, and a crowd is forming outside a chain link fence. It's the combination of Christmas morning and going to a casino. Eager shoppers are preparing for a quintessential experience. This is the Super Bowl of antiquing. Inside that fence, aisles are quiet at the Brimfield Antique Show at Hurtons Field. I think the beauty of Brimfield is there's something for everybody. Ready for the crush of buyers who are itching to get the first pick. People want the fresh first pick, the best of the best. As the clock turns to noon, <laughs> owner Clea Ververitas rings the bell, and the Brimfield rushes on. This is Chronicle on WCVB Channel 5. The Brimfield Rush has become the iconic image from the town's week-long antique markets, but it's a newer addition here. Clea Ververitas and her husband bought this property in 2020. If the field's already been picked over, there's no reason to come at noon. So now we're, we're fenced in like a fortress <laughs> and everyone comes in at noon, everyone gets a fair shot. Three times a year, May, July and September, a stretch of Route 20 in Brimfield turns into a massive antiques fair. Shows run Tuesday through Sunday. Each field, there are about two dozen, makes their own schedule. Different days, different hours. The antique shows bring shoppers and vendors from across the country. Candace Coney comes from Weatherford, Texas to sell clothing and household textiles. It's 1,850 miles from my house to Brimfield, Massachusetts. She says there's something special about this event that she has made a destination since 1992. This is the place to be if you're a buyer or a seller of anything really good and old. Furniture, rugs, mirrors, baskets and fishing lures, and license plates. Pigs, lions, a monkey? Antique enthusiasts say if you can't find it at Brimfield, it doesn't exist. We didn't think of anything of our toys in the 50s and they go nuts for them today. I've been here since 1970 and haven't missed a show. My dad used to drive out and we'd go to Gordon Reed's auctions and he'd buy all the boxes and stuff at the end of the auction. In 1959, uh, Gordon Reed, uh, an auctioneer by trade, he actually started auctions within the barn. Brimfield didn't always have such an illustrious position in the world of antiques. It all started with one man, Gordon Reed, back in 1959. And then it turned into 700 dealers on 36 acres of, of property and a two to three year waiting list for new vendors to get on the field. The neighbors then said, you don't have to wait, we could do it too. And, and now it's turned into a phenomenal 20 field show. Kate and Rusty Corvo own the field where it all began, now called Auction Acres. They bought the property from Reed's daughters in 2017. When Chronicle visited Brimfield in 2009, Judy Matthew and Jill Lakesh told us what their father would have thought of the event's evolution. He'd be thrilled. He he'd really, absolutely. he'd be amazed and pleased that it's continued. He started it and it was a dream for him to do this. And the dream has become a phenomenon that's wonderful for everyone. The Corvos have their own history with the Brimfield Antique Markets. My husband was raised in Brimfield and actually through all his high school years, he parked cars on this very field. And even when they moved to the other side of the country for his military service, Rusty came back for the shows. He and my sister, we, they had a food truck, and it was called Grandma's Kitchen, and so they would work the food truck for the weeks of the show. Now, they're opening a new chapter on this storied property by adding a winery. Part of our business plan was to create something new uh, when the shows aren't in town, and a winery also seemed perfect to complement something as eclectic as the antique show. The grapes come from California, but they make the wine in the very barn where Gordon Reed started his auctions. I designed all the labels myself and everything is um, circled around the history of the field. Knowing what this show has done for the whole community, it's touching for me and Rusty. It means a lot to be able to carry on that name and to do it with all the respect to Gordon Reed and our hats off to him and his family that created this for the Commonwealth because it impacts all the way to Springfield, all the way to Worcester and it's an honor. Mm. Kate Corvo from Auction Acres yeah. told us they had about 
300 or so vendors for the show in May, right? Yeah, they're hoping to keep on growing, eventually getting it back up to the peak, which was once 700 vendors. Now, if you want to check out all the Brimfield action, you are in luck because the last fair, the market is actually going on, of the year, is actually started today oh. and will run through September 11th, which is Sunday. All right, so he's got time to get out there.